This is a pro tip, okay? Pro tip of the day. Keep your eyes on your dog when at all possible. Alrighty folks, uh, Ethan here with Standing Stone and we are ready for Thunder's next steadying session. Amped, ready to rock and roll as always. We are going to be doing his first session where we go out and point birds and individual launchers with just him. What we're going to show you along the way is each... We're going to show you each bird and how he's handling it. You've already seen dogs hunt through the field and if you're watching these videos and you have your dog to this point, you know how they look when they run through the field and find and point birds. What we're looking at here is how to handle each bird, where we make corrections, how we help him to improve from a steady to wing shot and fall standpoint. We're going to go ahead and send him off. I have uh, loaded myself down to the teeth, if you will. Bag of pigeons. I have extra blanks. I have two blank pistols, two bottles of water, and... No, that's it. Transmitters. Uh, today we're using bird launchers still, okay? These are the DT Systems uh, 500 series launchers that work great for pigeons and chuckers and everything else. That's what we use all the time training our dogs. We have pigeons in them. Um, let's get going, guys. Let's do the fun stuff here. Heel. Good. Ho! Let's rock and roll, big dog. All right, folks, so we've got our first bird find here. We're gonna incorporate a couple different things into this session, like, ooh, there goes a flyaway, unrelated to our bird here. Um, whoa, baby, whoa. Okay, here comes another flyaway. Whoa, these are all looking good. Baby reminders, it's helping to condition this. Now we're gonna come with our bird that actually comes out of the grass. Way off that bad boy. That's a. I was talking about this the other day. We always talk about a cannon of a nose. It's more like a dang sniper rifle, okay? It's a long way, and he knew exactly where it was, pinpointed long distance. He's like a sniper of a nose. Cannon sounds cooler, but I think sniper is a more accurate description of what we're working with here. Now, what we'll be able to do is um, give him some time to think, all right? It's very common for young dogs, especially at the beginning stages of this process, to think, oh, the situation's over. I stood, there were shots, birds flew away. It's done, right? So I can just kind of wander off, move on, go on to continue hunting, go check that out. So we move into our dogs, and this is all like hunting, um, a hunt test, training, testing, titling, preparation stuff. All this hurry up and wait kind of game. Don't anticipate what's going to happen next, just wait to be asked. And if you wait to be asked, you're not going to have problems because I'm going to help you understand exactly what I want out of you. Here, we're gonna know, okay, you heard here, that's fine. Heel, um, heel. He waited until he was asked, I said here, and what I was going to say was, here we're going to heel around to him, but he's very in tune to the words coming out of my mouth. So. That is something that I need to anticipate for our next bird. Follow along, we'll go show you what that looks like. Heel. All right, so moving in on this one. Now the last one, I kind of set him up with a baby step of throwing the bird out. It set him up for essentially success by handling um, the mistake with a hand-thrown bird. That's kind of a, a middle ground, right? Birds coming out of the grass is the most natural. He's been breaking at wing. And what we're able to do to bridge that gap, we're always looking at the smallest steps that we can take. And those are gonna help us to get to the end goal the fastest with the best understanding from our dogs. So hand thrown, couple shots, settle him down a little bit. This one, we're gonna move right into um, bird coming straight out of the grass. We have a good wind today. Oh, that's really close now. Um, we have a good wind today, and this guy has a really good nose. So he's got it pinned down. I'm over here coming in to flush the bird. Now at the same time, I've got stimulation on um, his belly, ready to rock if we need it. The uh, last bird, I didn't actually have to use any collar. You heard the verbal correction of whoa, and that's good. 
if he's handleable, even if he's making small mistakes, that means that we are ready to continue to move forward and we're making good progress. If he's not handleable, running all over the place, that's when we know we're moving too fast. We need to take a few steps back or slow this down. Ready? Good. Fly away. Here comes the shot. Ah, dang, that was the last one in there. Um, one shot was fine. That was really well handled. Now, same situation happens here, okay? We're going to come back to him. Uh, I'm actually going to reload this launcher. This is another thing that can be helpful. He's, uh, he's going to see two things here. One of which is I just put a bird back here in this launcher. He watched me do it. You could see the intensity, I'm sure, of him uh, seeing what's happening. He saw the bird come out of the bag. All of those things mean now when we move on, he knows that there's a bird right there and it's going to take extra handle or obedience from him to be able to say, you need to come this way and pay attention to me, not try and go back to that. That's gonna prevent what's considered a delayed chase or just sheer lack of obedience and handle in the field. I'm gonna give him a shot of water, we'll heal him away and move on to the next bird. Whoa, so there's that anticipation. It's all fine, um, but he, it's all normal, excuse me. And we'll be able to work through it by preparing ourselves that it's going to happen. Moving up here, whoa. I heard, I know you heard here, but you need to not be quite so good at listening, okay? He needs to stand still. Whoa, there's a correction. Whoa. I'm gonna leave him. I'm gonna have to remind him, I would assume. Whoa. Then we'll do the same thing again. Heal. Just wait and listen to what I'm asking. Let's move on to the next bird. All right, so we're on to the next bird. Now this one, um, just based off of travel and pattern, whatever else, he hit it closer, okay? The bird's right up here to my right. This is gonna be the most challenging for him because he's the closest to the bird, most exciting. I'm gonna put myself up here again, um, still ready to make corrections if we need. All those corrections are coming from his belly collar still. Um, Blank pistol hopefully is reloaded. Should check that. That's you just need the one that's loaded. I haven't shot through two, have I? No. Ready to rock and roll here. I'm um, kind of putting myself out in front of the dogs. Uh, I come around to push back at dogs a little bit, which gives me eyes on the dog so I can see what they're doing. This is a pro tip, okay? Pro tip of the day. Keep your eyes on your dog when at all possible. We see this a lot. Folks walk away from their dog, come up to flush birds. What's happening behind me? I don't have any idea, right? Because I don't have eyes in the back of my head. Don't tell my kids that. But put myself here so I can see what's happening. And then again, here comes the bird. Come on now. Tried to add a little bit of extra, right? Everybody needs a little extra in their life. And he said, doesn't phase me, okay? This is, uh, this is a really important thing. I'm not gonna say the H word in conversation so that hopefully he stays there. But I do wanna say, this is all really, really good signs, folks. Thunder's doing absolutely fantastic because he's following the steps, working through the progression, and he's a superstar, but he's following the steps, working through the progression. We're taking slow um, baby steps for him to make it as easy as possible. And the next session that we're gonna have for him is we're gonna have the same birds and launchers, but we're gonna utilize uh, pigeons that will actually be shooting for him. That's the big kicker. He loves to retrieve. That's gonna be difficult. I hope you guys tune in for that one as well. I'm the guy with the pink gun. We're gonna finish this up by healing him away. And this is Thunder. We'll see y'all in his next video.